What's up, folks? Professor Pickles here. Today, we have a Zendikar Rising pre-release pack as well as some a uh, couple extras I got along with this at my local game store. Some pretty good deals going on lately. Um, Blizzards of the Coast was nice enough to give LGS's, you know, some set booster packs to give out along with pre-release kits. They sent that out in an email the other day, so... Definitely go support. Oh wow, this is hard. Oh, there you go. Definitely go support your LGS if you can, especially during these crazy times of the, the virus and all that. We will also be giving away the code from this box. Um, if you'd like to be entered to win that, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite poll from today's video is. Just gonna make sure I don't spoil the code. <clears throat> all right, there it is. There we will be giving this away. Come with a cool little divider, which is actually different than previous pre-release kits. And our dice is a white dice. Interesting. All right, so what do we get for our promo here? We got a Shatter Skull Charger. Interesting. Don't know if that's one of the better ones, but what's this little thing here? It's got a little interesting. Gear up for adventure. All right, so let's get into the packs here. We'll start with... Uh, we can roll the dice really quick too, just to see what we get. A 12, not bad. Alrighty, so we got six, actually eight uh, booster packs to go through today. Let's see what we can get. Quickly go through the commons just to see if there's any of the alternate arts there. Starting off with a Shadow's Verdict. Interesting. That's actually, I could see this card actually seeing some play, especially in Commander. And we have a Foil Canopy Bailoth. Look at that guy. He is not happy. He looks kind of like Nicol Bolas, actually. Interesting. I love these things, by the way. Like, people who are all complaining about, like, oh, I don't have dual lands. Like, just, I don't know. Take one of those, draw a picture on it. Like, what? It's literally a magic card. Or do you, it won't, you'll be able to tell the difference. The reserve list is not a lie, folks. I hate to break it to you, but... <clears throat> don't listen to the propaganda by other professors out there. Lotus Cobra, very nice. Whenever I land, and it's better to add one mana of any color. Very cool, that's a very iconic card for sure. And an Expedition Healer for the first foil of the box. Oh, sorry, actually it's not the first foil because we got the, that one. Let, I'm interested to hear what uh, what y'all have pulled in your Zendikar Rising packs or any uh, any crazy box toppers or anything, I will go ahead and link my booster box opening of Zendikar Rising up in the eye in the upper right hand corner of your screen right up there. So definitely go check that out. We did have a pretty good box for the first one we opened. And very nice. Alternate art, Valakut Exploration. Interesting. Play that card for as long as it remains exiled. Insert their card exiled with interesting. Very interesting card, actually. I could see that doing some damage for sure. It's kind of like a light up the stage, except, you know, I feel like you actually get a bit more. Eh, I don't know, maybe not actually. Not light up the stage. Um, what's the uh, other red spell there? I forget what it's called. It lets you play cards off the top of your deck. And a Cargan Intimidator. I've pulled him a lot. I really like these English style packs better than the Japanese style packs. They're so much easier to open, so much less trash. And I like actually kind of quickly scrolling through the commons and everything. Just, I don't know. Mall of the Skyclaves. Mm, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about that one, but who knows what the future holds. Three more regular packs here. Then we have the set booster pack, which will be very interesting to get into that. And an Archon of Emeria. Wow, so no Mythics at all in this entire uh, pre-release kit. So would not have been the best one to open up if you were actually going to a pre-release. Probably would have gotten, I don't know. Who knows, though? Maybe there's some really bomb rares in here, you know? All right, we have a Plains. We have a Foil and a Soul Shatter. Okay. I mean, I could see that doing some stuff in Commander for sure. See if we have any alternate arts. Nope. All right, one more pack, then we'll get to our set booster pack right there. Got a cool plant token. 
a swampy. Oh, very nice. There, a lithoform engine. Best mythic in the set. Whew. That was not actually from the pre-release kit. That was from the two extra packs I just got from my local game store. So really hit the lottery there. Very nice. Super happy about that for the mythic for the opening. That pretty much pays for the entire thing there. These pre-release kits are about 30 bucks usually. There we go. We have an alternate art there. All right, so let's get into the set boosters, see if maybe we can pull like a Kozilek or I don't know. One of, I know I don't know if it's Kozilek who's in, the, in here, but I know one of the uh, Eldrazi is at least. All right, so we have a beautiful art card of, who is that? Tabarax, okay, very cool. We've got a mountain, cleric. I don't even know how these things are organized. I couldn't really figure it out. Got a Master of Winds for a regular Zendikar card. And a Zulaport Duelist for the foil. And, oh, interesting, Lord of the Undead. A foil from, I don't know what set that is. Return target zombie card from a graveyard to your hand. I mean, actually, I don't know if this is worth anything, but it seems like a pretty good card for a zombie deck and everything. All zombies get plus one, plus one. Very cool. It actually doesn't count as a zombie itself, though, which is interesting. He's like a, kind of like a vampire, or I don't know what he is, but super cool here. Very cool frame on that. So overall, actually a pretty good opening. We got the Lithoform engine. We got a cool old school card. Love all these basic lands and everything. Can't complain. Thanks for watching, folks. As I said, I will link some other videos up in the eye in the upper right -hand corner of your screen, so definitely check those out if you're interested. And please do consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on the video if you do like what you see. It definitely helps out a lot. Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, folks.